Did I ever tell you that my father played for the Denver Broncos? No, no. The only Bronco who lived in South Park. He got a little bored one week and had an affair with a slut named Leanne Cartman. No, please, tell him. You almost did before, but you got shot by your brother who was a Bronco fan. Tell him. It's true. Jack Tenerman was your father. You killed your own father, and then you fed him to your half brother. No, no. <laughs> Now eat your chili! Oh, well, oh, oh, okay, I'd say that's pretty acidy. Drop him in. What are you doing? You said not to rat the guy. Oh, my lord. Look at the size of the bones on that rat. Oh, how many sets of bones this rat got? And look how the smaller ones are shaped. They're like little cartoon bones, like if you drew a bone in art class. All right, that tears it. I'm canceling the rest of my night and calling a bone scientist. We're getting to the bottom of this. Jesus Christ, enough already! Can we go? I'm glad you like it so much, because now that you're almost finished, I have something to tell you. What? You mean about how you put pubes in your chili? What? Yes, I'm afraid this isn't your chili, Scott. I switched it with chefs. It's delicious, chef. I hadn't planned on that. What I did plan on, however, was that my friend Stan and Kyle would betray me and warn you that the Chili Con Carnival was a trap. I assumed that they would tell you that I had trained Dankins' pony to bite off your wiener. What they didn't tell you was that Dankins is a crazy redneck who shoots trespassers on sight. Knowing that you would go and try to do something to the pony, I warned Mr. Dankins that violent pony killers were in the area. I also knew that you wouldn't go yourself for fear of having your wiener bitten off. You would most likely send your parents. And I'm afraid that when Mr. Dankins spotted them on his property, he shot and killed both your parents. <laughs> Well, they was trespassing, and I was protecting myself. I, I have my rights. My mom and dad are dead? I what up, you decoy motherfuckers? Come on down to Rick's House of Squids, where I'm serving your ass on a platter. I know what you're thinking. F Beacon. That's a great idea. He's got home turf, a tacit psychological advantage, and absolutely pendulous balls. Now you're thinking, shit, that's totally what the Rick is Rick would do. I might actually be fake. I pretended I didn't care if I was, but I totally did. Now the only way to prove I'm real, and not him, is to ice his expository ass. Yep, so let's do it. Come get some. What? No, Morty, I'm gonna loop it. Why is it... A little out of character to say this right now, but you guys look really cool. You don't get it, Morty. We're partners. Now fall in line or I'll make your life a living hell. No, thank you. Pity. I can't have you connected to me if you're not on my side. That means I gotta kill you. Thing is, I already got a partner, and there's no room for promotions. Ah! Ah! What the fuck did you just do? Cut you out of my life. 